Hello and welcome to Teach Me Money Methods. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a coloring book using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, there's plenty of tools that you can use to create coloring books, and PowerPoint's probably one of the last that you're going to hear about or get recommended to use. Now, um, there are going to be people telling you to stay away from PowerPoint because it's not made for, um, you know, printing, uh, which these coloring books are going to be printed on Amazon KDP, right? Um, and so this tool is not designed for print, it's designed for web display. But if you use it right, and you know what you're doing, then it, it can produce um, good results. And I find it not being a designer myself, and also not being, um, you know, not using some of those more advanced tools, like InDesign, and um, those, there's a huge learning curve with those softwares, and they're also very pricey. And so what I prefer to do is use tools that are less expensive and way more user friendly. Um, and so in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint and you're going to probably learn some pretty cool um, gems along the way um, that I've found out how to make. And you can make these uh, coloring books very quickly in PowerPoint. So um, hope you like it. Let's get started. So I've opened up a brand new um, PowerPoint presentation and it's just blank white. And what we're going to do is what you would think you would do is you just come up here and you would go to insert and you would go to uh, pictures and you would just find a picture and then insert it. Right. And then we would have to fix the design in the back, right? The, um, the slide design or the slide size. So the slide size, um, you would have to go to design, and then you'd have to go to slide size and come here and then pick the size, size of the slide. I'm going to show you some cooler, cool ways. So then once you do that, then you would, you would um, duplicate the slide or just do new slide, right? And then you would go to insert image and you would just keep going. And, and this will take some time because you're going to have a unique image on each slide, right? Um, that's going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, generally, I make the, my coloring books. Um, with about 25 to 30 unique pages. And then you multiply that by two because for every page you want behind it, you want the page, you know, the, the, um, the other side of the page to be blank. That way there's no bleed through if you're, if someone decides to use markers or um, crayons or coloring pencils, um, it's not going to bleed through to the next page, uh, onto the next drawing. Um, and so that's the reason why it's, it's pretty much recommended to, to, you know, double your pages. So these are, if this one's going to be 30 unique designs, then it's going to be end up, and then I'm going to have a belongs book belongs to, and a copyright page. It's going to end up being a 62 page book. So we just came through here and we added a slide, but let's say we have 30 images and we want to just do this really quickly. Well, what we can do is we can come back up here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this slide here. I'm going to go back to insert and I'm going to go to photo album and I'm going to go new photo album and we're going to click on file disk and I've got 30 images in here that we're going to make a coloring book out of. They're just patterns. And so I've got these patterns and I'm just going to say insert all of them. So it's going to go out there. It's going to um, collect all these and you can see that it collected all of them and you're, you're welcome to check mark any of them and move them up or move them down. However you prefer. You can also do that after you do this part. All you're going to do is just, um, there's different options here. You could put four pictures on each slide, um, things like that, but fit to slide. So it's one per slide. We're going to push create and then the next screen, it's going to ask us one more thing. And we're just going to say, we want to maximize it. If a thing pops up, you just push maximize. So now you have a photo album. We just made a photo album, which is really cool, right? Here's all of our albums. We just got the framework for our coloring book, which is amazing. Check that out. It is awesome. So we still, um, we're not out of the woods yet because we have some touch up and some work to do. Um, but at least we were able to bulk bring in our 30 drawings because you're going to spend a lot of time on your drawings. You might be de designing them in Canva 
Um, I like to design some of them in PicMonkey. I'm going to come out with a tutorial on how to make some coloring pages in PicMonkey. Um, for those of us uh, like myself that are not good at using those advanced tools, you can, uh, I found PicMonkey has some really cool um, tools in it that even Canva does not have. So uh, I actually utilize PicMonkey and Canva together to make more advanced designs. And then I will put my books together um, in uh, PowerPoint. So um, I find that you have more advanced options in putting your book together in PowerPoint than you do in, say, Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this slide here, okay? And then now you can see that we have all of our images, but the back part we want to we want to make this um, uh, black part of the of the slide go away, and we know the slide's too big. So we're going to go here, and I'm just going to go to Design, and I'm going to go to that slide size custom slide size the width i make the coloring books at eight and a half by 11 so i'm going to go down to eight and a half and then we're going to make this 11 so come on up here real quick and make it 11. so we got eight and a half by 11 inches portrait portrait okay this is the part where the maximize comes in so you just leave it and just say maximize now look what happened how awesome is that it just shaped everything up for us real nicely, but it's not perfect yet. And we're still not, we're still not ready to go because you'll see that we still have to make the way that these images came in. They are natively eight and a half, but the, but it doesn't bring them in at the exact size that they are. So uh, these are 300 deep. And here's a quick tip. These are 300 DPI images and they are natively eight and a half by 11. So as long as you're printing at eight and a half by 11 or smaller, you're going, it's not gonna get pixelated and you're gonna get high quality printing. Now, if this was, if I wanted to make a bigger, larger print book, or if this was a smaller than eight and a half, 11 image at 300 DPI, and I, and I, you know, if it came in like that, and that was, that was 300 DPI at that size, and then I came in here and I drew, drag this up like that. Now it's going to become pixelated and you're going to get loose quality instantly. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Know what the DPI and the size of your images are. Um, so then you know what you're able to do. As long as you know that, you can use PowerPoint to create these books. So uh, we have um, our image here. And what I like to do, I'm just going to move this down here real quick, is I like to take my, my guide um, these these guidelines right and can uh, click the control button or command button on a Mac control button and then hold it up and we're gonna go up to about five five centimeters we're making our bleed in PowerPoint so I'm gonna go down to about five here and I've just found that that this makes it work really well um, so you can do this and then I take the center one and I go down to about three seven five three point seven five right there Oop. and another 3.75 i think it's just going to move that one okay so check it out we have this outside border here is our bleed now if you didn't want to do bleed and i mean if you wanted to we're going to do no bleed we're going to um that that's why we have this this border right if you choose you can speed things up by just going like this and having your your um, image on uh, PowerPoint um, like that. And then you can just create your book like that. And then you're going to select bleed. And with bleed, then um, Amazon's going to go ahead and trim off what it needs to, and you'll be fine. But what I like to do to make the the uh, coloring book higher quality, and I and I know based on printing some of these pages out myself, even at home and coloring them and having some of my kids color some of them, um, the, the customer's going to appreciate a black border because see how this is white all up here? It's really hard to, to color those um, when you get to the end edge of the page too, inside the, the coloring book you're gonna be creating. So what I like to do is I like to grab that and I like to go over to um, format. And then I like to go to picture border. We're gonna make the picture border black. And then we're going to go down to also picture border. 
and then go to weight and you can choose whatever you like if you really want it to pop um, or if you want it to be really light but I like to go with a three point right in the middle now look at how nice that is now you just grab the image throw it up here on your guide and it's gonna lock in it stops when you're moving it just stops it just naturally stops and then it stopped right there then grab your um, crosshair over here and move it over it stops automatically and then down here it stops automatically boom so let's do another couple and now look what that's what's going to print out so now the uh, user of the coloring book that's going to be coloring this page they're going to appreciate this a lot more when they're coloring right here they're going to have a little bit of a border to kind of stop them from going over the border it's going to, and they'll you know you need a border to really help you and a lot of the page coloring pages you're going to get off of creative fabrica and other sites they're not going to have borders so you're going to have to if you want a high quality coloring book you're going to have to make those borders yourself and here's a good way to do it so you just grab and just really quickly uh, you go up to format and you go to picture uh, um, make it black picture border and then weight three and then we're gonna take it down a little bit and boom I'm gonna take this side down over here and I hope you're catching along with how this works so this will take you about 20 minutes not bad um, maybe less once you get good at it you just have a couple things to do um, you know size it and on this one I'm gonna go ahead and leave the border off um, just for time purposes and move that up I'll just get three going here and then you just move all the way to the bottom okay so you just keep going and you just move to the next one and keep going okay so but look how nice nicely formatted that is so it's it's great so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert a new slide you got a blank slide there so for every um, right here I'm gonna move this up so all you'd have to do is just right here insert word art and you can put in um, this book belongs to and then you know do your lines or whatever super easy to do this stuff and then we're gonna do one more a new slide and you can do your copyright come over here whoops I'm just gonna take that come back over here and we're going to um, you can just do a, a simple copyright um, coloring books whatever your name is you can keep it centered or you can kind of bring it down here a little bit right here simple copyright page so the first page and then right behind that's going to be that and then they're ready to go boom okay so then one more thing new slide here take that copy and then for you just click in between and push paste you click here in between and push paste and then from this point you can actually make this really small and then just and then once you do this you can actually have kind of a template um, and then you this part you only have to do once see so then you just move this all the way down and now you're turning yourself into having your 62 page coloring book and you could have a 62 page coloring book with the full custom interior and everything in an hour or less using this tool so that is uh, how you do it um, and, and of course if you come in here you could leave it like this if you just wanted to make a pattern a coloring book or if you wanted to get even more fancy you can do insert uh, word art um, and you can put a quote here um, or just a couple words motivational you can do whatever you want you just grab that and then what you would do is uh, come up to um, home and there's different find a font that's kind of um, you know got kind of a fat um, aspect to it like that you could you could pick that font and then you can click on it here and then you're gonna want to go to format text and your text fill is you want white and then your 
text outline, you want it to be black. Check that out. And then also you want your text outline. We can make it pop a little bit by going wait. See how this is more advanced and customizable than what you're even going to get in Canva. Um, so you can make it depending on how what much you want it to pop. A lot of times I just really think um, the three point um, or one point for the text looks really good because you don't want you want the the coloring to uh, stand out. Then you can make it bigger if you want 54, go down to 80, and then you can just come down. And if you can make them all the same font or you can change the font on every one of them. But then that's also another variety that you can do uh, to create your coloring book. And you could even get fancy and um, go like that and then twist this around a little bit and make it like that and then just keep going. So that is a coloring book tutorial, um, how to make a coloring book in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about it, um, leave a comment below. I'm going to be doing more uh, KDP low and no content tutorials as I'm getting more and more into it. I was, um, I did it for like a week or two back in December of 2019 and I made $160 my first uh, month on the platform. Um, I've made steady sales similar to that the last um, every month this year so far, but now I'm going to take it more serious and start getting into it a little bit more. And um, so I'm going to put more tutorial videos on what I'm doing uh, to, to make my books and any tips and tricks I can um, give you guys to help you guys out on your KDP low content journey um, as well. And so, uh, and so, yeah, I've made uh, some coloring books recently. I've made about eight coloring books using PowerPoint like this, and I'm sell, I've sold five of them. And one of them is a quotes type book and I am uh, selling multiple copies of it already. So coloring books um, um, is uh, a good um, niche to get into, but you do need to niche down. You don't want to just say coloring book. You really want to find some niches and get specific. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll have more tutorials even on coloring books coming up. Um, I will see you guys next time. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.